All right, this is going to be a tutorial for adding textures and blender specifically for Battle for Bikini Bottom. And then also later after this, I'll cover how to import this into a level to make it from scratch. So I have just a couple rooms here, a triangle, a square, and then this tunnel. Um, if you want different textures, you kind of have to separate different objects. So if I want this floor to be different, I'm going to have to select the floor and then come down here to separate it. And I'll do that with this floor also. Separate that. And then this tunnel, I want this round part to be separate. So I'll select all this. Get all the inside. And I'll separate this also. So now that we have these separated, we can start uh, adding textures to Blender itself. So you'll click shading. Um, sometimes there will be a material here. If not, you just click new. And then we have to actually add in the texture uh, thing. So you click add texture and then image texture. And you want to connect color to base color, the two yellow dots. And then we can now open our image. So I have a few of these. I want this floor to use that. So we'll click that. You can name it and then we'll click a new one and you can just keep adding stuff so now I can name this grass get another one and you just add as many textures as you want you don't have to do it all now you can add more later so I'm just going to add the rest of these real quick. Okay, now that we got all these added, um, we can look here and we can start applying them. So if you want to add a texture to something, you come to this red circle and then you can click the list and let so you select which one so wood this can be grass this will be the purple rocks this will be blue metal this will be the brown rocks and this will be red metal so as you can tell this does not look very good the grass looks fine this metal looks kind of fine but everything else looks not good at all so we have to do what's called uv a uv map where this just uses like a kind of generic texture thing but now we can specify how we want the texture to be put onto our object so come over here and if you notice we can't see our texture so we can drag this and you click on this third dot viewport shading and that shows or hides your textures So once you have that, select what you want to UV map and you have to go to edit mode up here and you select it and then you can right click unwrap and there you go. That's your first UV map. You can do a lot of different stuff here. You can move it around. You have to select everything, but you can move it around. You can rotate it and you can also resize it. And once you get it however you want it, you can be finished with that one and then you go to your next one. So not everything will map properly if you do it all at once. Like if I undo all these, it's going to look really weird. So you might have to do it one at a time where this has this odd shape. Now it's a rectangle. And you can press the letter U on this left side to do that also so now that we have this now i can just do whatever i want with it and that's done this grass looks okay i can change it just slightly if i really wanted to and then now we have these walls if i do all of these at once 
it's going to be weird. So I'm going to have to do them separately. So like these two. And then these two. Okay, it selected three of them for some reason. And you can rotate it, size it, if you zoom out, it adds more of it. If you zoom in, it gets closer. It's kind of obvious what it does. So once you have it however you want it, we can move on to our final one. And you press A, the letter A selects everything, and then U will unwrap it. So once you get it however you want it, as you can see, uh, we have a little tunnel here, and we can't actually go through it where if I hide some of my rooms, the walls are in the way of the tunnel. So we can actually fix that. So you will go back to the layout. You click on your object, and then we'll click on this wrench, add modifier, boolean, and then you select whatever it is. So you want the tunnel. And as you can see, there's a little bit of overlapping, so we'll click apply, go in here. It seems it has selected, it made a copy of all of this, so if we undo that, did not work out very well, so we could try the opposite. So we'll select our tunnel. Actually, I think I selected the incorrect tunnel. I selected this one, not this. Yeah, okay, so we'll add modifier, boolean, and do tunnel 01. And it kind of made a copy of it, that's fine. If we go in here though, now our little, it made a hole for us, but also it made a copy of everything. So I'm gonna select the walls and then invert it to delete all the extra stuff. And now we have a hole. So if you want to make a hole in the object, you can use that boolean thing, like two different objects. So I can do the same thing here. Add a modifier, do tunnel 01, apply, and there it is. There's our hole. And just in case something else got selected, you can do that. So now we have a hole. I kind of want the a little pathway between this stuff so we can do that also we can go back into edit mode on this and then we select edges and you can press F and it'll automatically fill it in for you so I might have to raise that up just a tiny bit oh this one I think is too high up already so that means I'm going to have to rotate this ever so slightly. Like that. That's a bit too much though. That should be fine. And then I'll select this. And I can add it in here where I press F. It automatically connects it. And I could do the same at the bottom. And now I can actually UV map this stuff separately like this. It's kind of already mapped itself. But if I want to, now I can actually go in here and I can turn it if I want. Just however you want it, it doesn't matter. I kind of like the way it was sitting originally, so zoom it in and then now we can do also these two metals that we just added and there it is so we have now two rooms that are fully textured and we have a little tunnel that made holes between it so now that we're finished with that we can export this so file export i usually use dae it doesn't really matter what you use i guess this is one i typically use we'll do test model and when that is done 
can open up in the industrial park. 